What's good, peeps? Joe Passarelli here. Got some quick thoughts on Cesaro, the man formerly known as Antonio Cesaro, or Claudio Castagnoli from Ring of Honor. I know I probably mispronounced that, and all my Italian brothers are about to <laughs> about to pull a hit on me right now, but it's all good. My thoughts on the Swiss Superman, the King of Swing, Cesaro, now being represented by none other than Paul Heyman. We saw that a few weeks ago, the day after WrestleMania, where it all went down, the split of the Real Americans, the destruction of the Andre the Giant Trophy, as well as the announcement that, indeed, Cesaro was a Paul Heyman guy. Now, one of the things I was most looking forward to with Cesaro's new alliance with Heyman and New Direction it was going to be his new theme song. I was very excited about that. I liked his original theme song before he switched to the Real Americans. I feel like his presence helped make the Real Americans theme song a bit more popular to the point where people were humming to it, similar to Fandangoing. Uh, they were humming to the, the beat of the Real American song on the Raw after WrestleMania where he came out to accept the Andre the, Dro Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy. But... Uh, the first few weeks with his association with Paul Heyman, the first two, uh, first few weeks were on SmackDown, he did not have a theme song, he was coming out old school, Iron Sheik fashion, and I didn't necessarily hate that, but I was hoping there was going to be a theme song, and I read online that Triple H actually was pushing Vince McMahon, that Vince did not say, want Cesaro to have a theme song, but Triple H actually pushed Cesar, uh, for Cesaro to have a new theme song. I just checked it out on YouTube, did not get to see the segment on Raw where, where he wrestled with the new song and was screwed by Jack Swagger setting up the match with him and Swagger at Extreme Rules, which we all want to see, and is really the first step in Cesaro's ascension. But I think this music is oh, it's okay, I heard it. I don't like it as good as I liked his first WWE theme. And from what I've heard, his Ring of Honor theme was incredible. I, I, I admittedly didn't watch a lot of his Ring of Honor work. I've seen clips of stuff that the Ring of Honor YouTube has put out here and there, but I really haven't done my homework in terms of watching every single one of his matches and, and, and knowing his theme song like I know Brian's was Final Countdown. But I do feel like this theme song, it's got a siren to it, kind of like Scott Steiner, and then it's got like this electronica European beat. I like it, but I think it's a little too simple, which in a way kind of works for Cesaro, because he's someone that people are saying he needs to find his... I think in a way, like a Stone Cold Steve Austin, he doesn't really need that. He just needs to be him. Like, yeah, he could probably talk trash in five different languages, but just go out there, just like Kobe Bryant, who can speak five different languages. You are that talented, Cesaro. You are that talented to be a future WWE World Heavyweight Champion, to be one of the future faces of this company. And clearly the company is behind you, based on what we've seen with the win of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and, and his ascension, his appearance in the ex, um, ex, uh, not Extreme Rules, in the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view match, uh, his first ever WWE World Heavyweight Championship match, technically. So we're seeing this ascension happen. I'm glad they're not going to put the IC title on him, because at this point, I think he needs bigger and better things. I see him being built up. Maybe him versus Brian at WrestleMania 31. How incredible would that be? And all the Ring of Honor faithful would love that. I would love that. I think that would be absolutely awesome, and maybe we won't get Punk versus Brian at a WrestleMania ever, but that'll be the next best thing. Punk for, uh, you know, that Brian versus Cesaro. I'm in for that. So, all in all, I like the direction. I think Paul Heyman is going to be good for him, but I don't see this being as long-term as some people see it. I, I, I see this as a, as a time filler in between Brock Lesnar's next appearance. We've seen that Heyman, when he has more than one client to deal with, that's when he is not at his best. Clearly, Heyman, when he has too many things pulling him in too many different directions, that's when he gets distracted. That's when things fall through the cracks. Case in point... Axel and Ryback, which both of them just kind of left unceremoniously once Brock Lesnar returned, and, and even after that, um, you know, Paul, Paul Heyman, he will help Cesaro get the rub from here to here, but I think bigger and better things are in line for Cesaro. I think, going back to his music, I think his music... He needs a little bit more. I think maybe if you had kept the electronica beat, keep the cannons and the sirens, 
and maybe add, like, lyrics, but in Swiss, like, giving it that validity of, like, that club-sounding, like, European kind of sound, which is very popular amongst the clubs and many other scenes, so... I do think he had a little bit more sprinkle of that, and I think for his overall character, just keep doing what he's doing. Be him, be that ass kicker, be that tremendous wrestler, and you know, add that intelligence that he has, and maybe learn to cut a little bit better of a promo. And I'm sure Paul Lee will help him with that. But all in all, I think Cesaro's ready, and I'm excited about him getting music. I'm excited about him being with Paul Heyman. I'm excited about all the things that are happening with him, and I definitely see him as one of those guys that he is going to be a future world heavyweight champion. Folks, what do you think? It's Joe Passarelli. Like, subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. Thank you, thank you. This is another edition, another edition of the Joe Passarelli Show. I'm not going to make fun of that other dude who clowns and, and recites all his stuff off of the dirt sheets. 